everyone. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's definitely been a while since I've been on um, to post a video. Um, I had a tragedy in my family about um, almost three weeks ago, so I have been away from doing any videos, any postings, anything regarding hair, um, even product making. Um, I also, you know, I have products online, but just been away from things um, for a little bit to go through some grieving. And I am finally back um, in good health, thank God. And um, through it all, I still have been caring for my hair. So I am back today because there's been a talk about an ingredient or a concoction called shaving. Um, it is used by some women, African women of Chad, and basically they have hair down to their thighs, pretty much. And this whole craze is getting around the YouTube circuit pretty fast. Um, many of us want to know how in the world these women have that type of hair that long, well, they have an ancient secret um, that they've been using for many years. And um, so now, you know, there's a lady out there, Shahid or whatever her name is, that's kind of brought this to the forefront of uh, news in, in our community about, you know, these women and how they can, uh, how they achieve their long hair. Well, um, I actually ordered some of uh, the Shea Bay powder. Um, I am going to leave a link down below that you guys can click on to look at the videos of these women with this very, very long hair. Now, mind you, these women basically use this, this powder, a concoction that they make, uh, I think every three to five days, um, it's been said that they don't wash their hair. And I've seen other videos of um, this one lady that's been using the Shea Bay and um, I'm just looking at her hair and it, it actually looks to me um, like her hair is growing and it's thick. The only downfall to it is that it looks like dirt is in the hair. And if you look at these shape, these women of Chad, you'll see that their hair is very coarse, very thick, and it's long. And, um, you know, you'll see that they have this stuff in their hair. Now, we got to take some things into consideration here, being in a culture, a Western culture, where basically many women of our ethnicity wear hair and styles and, you know, perms and curls or whatever, many of us are trying to get away from the chemicals and do natural. So now we're being introduced to a new type of uh, hair care regimen that these women in Chad are doing. Um, personally, I make my own products. And it's been a while since I got my hair in a protective style. My hair is actually very thick. And I'm going to turn around and let you see it. It's very thick. And I'm just turning. Hopefully you guys can, can see what I have. It's very thick. And I've been using <clears throat> my main ingredient is basically shea butter. Here's the other way. So my main ingredient is shea butter, along with a few other things that I've been using. Um, I am making a homemade shampoo bar. I have a homemade conditioner. <clears throat> now I'm making a, a homemade pomade to use when I'm protecting my hair. So with that being said, um, my hair is uh, growing very fast and with little shedding, little, I mean, it sheds, your hair is naturally going to shed. But one thing I can say is no breakage. Um, there are other women out there that, um, and I'm going to give uh, 
one woman in particular that has very, very long hair, all probably to her thighs now, 22nd century woman, and she uses um, shea butter in a lot of her products. So there's a controversy now. I think it's going to be a controversy if it's not, you know, can this product uh, shea bane really work? Um, these women have been growing hair for years, so, you know, one, people got to understand that your hair is not going to grow overnight. You may immediately notice thickness in a few days because this one lady on her video, it almost seems like it's like henna on your hair, but it's probably a little more stronger and a lot more powerful and better than henna. But, um, you know, keep in mind, these women of Chad have been growing hair for years, so... My thing is, you know, is it better for me to stay with my shea butter that also comes from Africa and you can mix it in different products and I make my own products. And like I say, my hair is actually growing very fast. It's probably at shoulder length now if I stretch it. Um, if you look at some of my videos, you'll see about maybe, maybe three months back, my hair was probably about that long. And it's a lot longer. So getting back to the Shea Bay, I ordered it because I'm going to try to use it in a way that could be ideal for Western culture, civilization. Our, you know, here where we are here in the Western world, where we can wear it in our hair without it having the appearance of dirt. Um, I don't wear wigs. Um, some women probably can get away with doing their hair like that and wear a wig over it. Um, I refuse to wear a wig because to me, my hair is my hair and it's growing and I don't want to wear a wig. Now, sometimes I wear maybe a little cap or whatever and take it off, but a wig, nah, that's just not for me. But I do want to try to see if this Shea Bay will work as far as the strengthening power, um, because these women of Chad, the reason why they hair is so long, because it obviously don't break. It doesn't, there's nothing going on much with shedding, obviously. And so that, therefore, their hair is just getting longer and longer and longer. Now, this is all new, um, basically. Um, so there's not a lot of research as far as the Western world is concerned with many of us. I am going to be one of the participants to use the Shea Bay. Um, I am going to mix it with my, I'm going to start out mixing it with my conditioner. I am not going to leave it in my hair. I'm going to try to leave it in my hair um, up to four hours, probably four or more hours for starters to make sure I don't have any type of reaction. I'm going to do a, t a skin test, a patch test to make sure because I understand that some of it you don't supposed to put on your scalp and it causes extreme irritation. So I'm not going to put it on my scalp, but I am going to put it on my hair. Um, for starters, my, my uh, pre-conditioning cream that I use for my hair. And then next, I'm going to put a little bit in my uh, pomade that I use to keep on my hair for a week. Because I wash my hair once a week. So... You know, trying to get it somewhat adapted to the Western world, you know, where I'm not going to work and my hair looks like it has dirt in it. So even though it's the, the Shea Bay is not dirt, it's actually a seed. It's a few other ingredients in it. So it's not dirt. If anybody, you know, have this misconception that it's dirt, it's not dirt. It appears it looks like dirt. So I don't want to go to work with my hair like that. But I do want the benefits of what it has to offer. So my thing is, is trying to get it where it can be more ideal and adaptable for the women of the Western world, where we're not going to be going to work without, you know, getting the benefits of it, but not going to work with our hair looking like it has dirt in it. So unless you're wearing scarves, and wigs, it will probably be ideal for you to, you know, uh, copy the what the women of Chad does and get the, you know, the really serious results that they're getting. But again, I use the shea butter and um, my hair is 
growing very good, less shedding, no breakage at all. So I'm still getting the benefits. It's just that because of this craze that's going around, I really want to see if this is something that's going to work for my hair and also for you all out there. If you're tuning in and you're like wondering about what is this shade based stuff, you know, um, you know, many of us want long, beautiful hair and many of us are going natural now. It's just been a thing now that's been around for a number of years, probably up to 10 years now that, you know, a lot of women of ethnicity with four type hair, 4B, 4A, whatever, 3B, 3A, but mostly four, four type hair, you know, you know, it's always been this, this, uh, Thing that you know we could never grow long hair and that is just so untrue our hair grows like anybody else's hair it's just retaining length was always the hard part because we were using chemicals and extensions and weaves and braiding our hair too tight where it's breaking and anything that looked good but yet we were losing the retention and really therefore you losing the beauty of having long gorgeous hair so now we're into a new phase with this Shea Bay. So my order has not come in yet. Supposedly it's coming from Africa. I ordered it a week ago and it's still not here yet. Um, I tell you one thing, if it does work, I personally will become a distributor of it, but I am going to use it in a way that's going to be more feasible for the Western world women where we won't have the appearance of dirt in our hair and hopefully I can get the, um, the same benefits, the same results. As I say, I'm going to put it in my pomade. I am going to put it in my um, pre food conditioner that I usually leave on overnight, sometimes for a few hours during the day. And I wash it out, you know, I wash my hair with my shampoo bar. And then I put my pomade on that last, I, that's on my hair for a week. So I am going to be mixing the Shea Bay in that. And I actually have my pomade right here that I use. It's kind of almost empty now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, this is the texture. It almost looks like grease and it, it's not grease at all. It's not grease. It, it's a shea butter um, base and it has a few other really, really good ingredients. And it actually keeps my hair very moisturized, very conditioned, and um, I just use the rest here. And I keep it on my hair for a week. So, anyhow, um, we'll see over time how this Shea Bay will work. So, I would like for you guys to subscribe to my channel and um, please share this video because this is going to be a new hype now. With this Shea Bay that's coming out, and you know, women want beautiful long hair, so. You know, like I say, unless you want to have it where the shape that women of Chad are doing, it, you know, um, that's all great. But if you're like me, you don't wear wigs, you don't wear a lot of things over your hair, except maybe a wrap or something, um, and you have to work, you know, you want to be able to have the benefits without the, you know, the appearance of having looking like you got dirt in your hair. So. These are things that's just really under research, under construction right now. Um, I mean, I may come to a point where I may leave it in for a week, like the Chad women, and wrap it. You know, everything's just kind of under construction, per se, because these women have been doing it for years. So if you are interested, uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Um, I've always invited all my subscribers so far that, you know, um, let's do this uh, natural hair journey together. So um, I will be back with the product as soon as it arrives. I will be back to talk to you guys more about it. And whatever information I get, I will definitely let you guys know. There will not be any secrets, any blind sides. I know many of you are going to want to know where can you get this stuff you know, um, to try it. And far as I know, when you order it, there's no money back, um, guarantees on it. There's 
you can't exchange it, nothing. Once you get it, you got it, it's yours. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm doing research, you know, personally myself to see how it works with my hair. My hair has been doing good, like I say, without it. But if it's going to add the, 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 the extra benefits, you know, we'll see. So again, uh, subscribe, hit the like button. And until next time, I will see you guys later. As I always say, be natural and stay natural. Take care and God bless you.